Hey guys, I'm Kirsty and I'm from the Bibliophile Girl and this is my first ever YouTube video. So yes, I am nervous. Today, um, I decided to do a video about the top 10 most creepy books for Halloween. Since, you know, it's the middle end of Halloween now and, you know, people are getting in the Halloween mood, buying the pumpkins, getting their costumes ready. And I was like, well, I'm not doing any of that because... <laughs> I don't leave the house. I am surrounded by books all the time, so my spare time is reading and reading and more reading. So, yeah, hence the theme of today's video. So, then without further ado, let's get on with it. So, in no particular order, I'm gonna add this, it's in no particular order, these top 10 books, they're just random ones I've picked off the shelf and be like, you know what, that's creepy. I'm gonna put that in the video. So yeah. But the first one I'm gonna go for is a head full of ghosts by Paul Tremblay. But this book is about a family and they have this schizophrenic daughter and they think she's possessed. <laughs> Basically they get this doctor in um, to see what's up with the character called Marjorie, who's the girl who's possessed. And the house becomes kind of like this horror home and, you know, it's a place that is quite uncomfortable to live in. Um, and then these uh, producers come up to them and they're like, you know what, you have a horror family, so let's create a, re a reality TV show about your family. So they say yes and they do the reality show and you know it's quite popular with the audiences and then the book skips to 15 years later kind of a well-known author approaches Marjorie's younger sister who's called Mary and she tells this author you know what happened in the house. I haven't read it yet, I am going to get around to it but I really want to read it because it sounds really really good. And it's basically about all these tales of horror that unfold as Mary is telling this author about um, what happened in the household 15 years ago. The second book that I'm going to show you today is The Accident Season. Now you've probably heard a lot about this book on booktube because it is very popular. But um, again, I haven't read this book yet. But, I ha well, I lie. I have read maybe the first few chapters, um, but then I got sidetracked by um, university reading. But basically this book is about this girl called Kara, and the world that she lives in is uh, a month in the year, accidents and tragedies happen, so you could literally be walking down the stairs and fall and break your ankle or leg or anything like that which sounds like my daily life because I'll be forever bumping into things or stepping on a plug or when I was little I'd be stepping on Lego all the time so this book is my idea of a nightmare and it's basically about Kara kind of finding out why why is there an accident season why is going on the third book is a classic. We've got Shirley Jackson's We Have Always Lived in This Castle. Now I read this about I want to say two years ago but um, my dad made me read this because he said that I would love it and I did. I absolutely adore Shirley Jackson's writing. Um, I want to read more of her stuff because her description is really really good and she like lays that foundation for the book really really well so this book is i'm not going to say too much because of spoilers but it's basically about the, the sister's been acquitted of a murder and it's basically the family just the sister and the other sister um living in the house and being bombarded by outsiders but i can't say too much so read the book Shadow House by Dan Poblocki. I am so sorry if I slaughtered that name. Um, this book is about these friends and they go into this haunted house and the hallways move, the doors vanish, they see ghosts, children disappear. And what's so good about this book is there's an app 
that you can go for it and if you see like a symbol on a certain page you go on the app and it shows you even more terrifying things about this house so this is a very very good book i haven't done a review on it yet on my um blog but i will be writing one so this is a really good book to check out it's really good for mix internet with books um so yeah Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman is a personal favourite of mine. I love his writing, I love his books, I love his characters, everything but Coraline is a fantastic young children's thriller horror story. It's basically this girl called Coraline and she goes through this doorway and she meets kind of this alternative reality world to her own and she meets her alternative reality parents and they have buttons for eyes now there's a very yeah here we go look look at this picture she has buttons for eyes children of all ages will love this book it's so so good asylum by madeline madeline rue 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 but yeah this is like miss peregrine's home for peculiar children in the fact that it's got pictures accompanying the story just to kind of add more to the atmosphere of the, of the story so you've got pictures uh, but this book is about some more friends they go to this well the, like in um it's like a college prep program and their accommodation isn't ready so they're sent to this um building that used to be an asylum and it's basically them figuring out the secrets of this place because you know there's like hidden basements and um kind of secret links to the asylum's past that link in with the children um i think of asylum uh, american horror story season that's what this is like so check that out the loney by andrew michael hurley um, this book is about two brothers, one's a mute and the other, bro uh, the other brother protects the brother who is a mute and they're left alone one day and they go to the causeway and they find a dead body. Yep, they find a child's dead body. Now, if that doesn't freak anyone out, I don't know what will because a dead body of a child on a causeway no no it's a very good read i actually haven't read anything by this author before i read it and i loved it and yet again there isn't a review on my blog so yeah thank you to the people of waterstones for recommending this book to me next book i have is hex by thomas old Hovelt. Hovelt. i don't know i'm really bad with names but i haven't read this book before but the thing that drew me to this book was the blurb i'm going to read it out to you it says a 17th century woman with sewn shut eyes and mouth walks its streets, enters its homes, watches its people when, it, when they sleep. They call her the Black Rock Witch. Now if that doesn't make you want to read this book, I have no idea what will because can you imagine having a woman like that walk through the streets of your town? No. No. I'm okay, thank you. But the teenagers in this book, they want everyone to know about the haunting of their town. So they try to get it viral. I won't get on the bad side of that witch. I'll just let it do what it wants to do. I'm sorry, but there's no way I'm going to anger it. The next book I have is another book by Shirley Jackson. And it's called The Haunting of Hill House. And as you can tell, it is another book about a haunted house. But it's about these uh, three, four characters called Dr. Montaug, Eleanor, Luke and Theodora. And they're all, well, Dr. Montaug invites the three other people to this haunted house. And the house chooses one of them. Yeah, the house chooses one of these people to become its own. So it's about the characters kind of, you know, hearing noises at night. And one of them loses their mind, um, wants to stay in the house forever. And it's, really, it's a really creepy read. I mean, the beginning of it's a bit slow. But once you get into it, it's really, really good. It's a really good storyline. Brilliant description, like Shirley Jackson always does. So yeah, Shirley Jackson is a brilliant writer and I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend this book. 
The last book that I've got to show you guys is Whispers of the Dead by Simon Beckett. This book is about this forensic investigator called David Hunter and bodies keep popping up everywhere and it's about them chasing the killer but then they're like, <laughs> you know what, I don't think we can catch him and it's really, really good. So that's it guys, that's my video, that is my first ever YouTube video done. Um, tell me what you think in the comments below, uh, so subscribe if you want, give the video a like, um, I really want to make this channel um, interactive with you guys, um, so you know, pop up to me on Twitter, email me, anything, because I really, really want to talk to you guys about the books you like, about what you would recommend me. Um, what videos you would like to see also um, the best place to go for reviews would be my personal um, book blog I'll give it a, I'll put a link in the description box below so it's easier for you guys to find but if you would like a certain video then just give me uh, a comment and I will try and do it for you so yeah that's my first video thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time